Get in. Take off. Experience. A road trip is the definition of freedom and the love of adventure. The Ahead Road Trips invite you to experience, to inspire, and to dream on the most interesting routes and in the most exciting places through Arizona and New Mexico, from skate parks to the Wild West, from open plains to urban metropolises, searching for unforgettable moments, unique encounters, and stunning landscapes. The next adventure always in front, always ahead, to the horizon and beyond. desert itself I think people just assume that it's barren out here but it blooms and it like comes alive every year this is the only region where they grow in the Sonoran Desert so this is what we're famous for and they're a protected species this is about 120 years old a vanishing point that goes like from here and then it comes out because it's like racing through this the desert and then I'll have more like saguaros and like more elements going through it but it's kind of like racing through it so you'll see like the smoke so it could show movement moving through the pieces right my name is La Morena I'm an artist from Phoenix Arizona Arizona is special, and Phoenix is. This is Akamo Atam uh, Jibwit, and it's home to 22 Native American tribes. And I myself am Native um, and Mexican American, but I identify as Chicana. And so a lot of my inspiration comes from, you know, my culture, my background, and the desert. People sometimes like, you really don't believe that, but our sunsets are really like those colors, like that bright colors, and that's where a lot of my color theory comes from. When you walk by a wall and you see these colors, you know, these colors will grab your attention. Everyone that you come across has like a connection to it or can have a connection to it. And they show that that's when it like encourages them to open up and share their stories. And then I learn about people out in community, which is really cool and one of my favorite things. I love to come to this mountain because Usury Mountain behind us, I've incorporated um, a piece of it into the painting, the three skate decks that I'm working on now for, for you all and for Korsh. And so I wanted to, you know, tie the story together with the elements. That's why it was important to come out here so that we can not only like see it from the painting, but also feel it and then smell it, you know, and really take that um, energy in from the land, from our mother, mother Tierra.
Andrew Cannon. I'm a 38-year-old Libra out here in, uh, right now we're in Awatsuki, Arizona at the Pecos Ski Park. Um, and we're gonna do some skateboarding. Everything in my life is like very intense and uh, I'm definitely too much for a lot of people out there. I like the seatbelt, the blue is so yes. sick. You guys ready to ride? Sick. My first time driving a Porsche, yes. I drive a minivan. I have I have the kid wagon, so uh, this is a whole nother, whole different experience. We were on the freeway and I was like, we're going 90 right now and it feels like we're just cruising. Like this thing feels wild. Yeah because of magazines and videos. Oh, yeah. Skateboarding was like, this is what you need to look like. This is what you need to listen to music wise. And um, We now exist in the coolest time in skateboarding ever. And you, you can get into really low impact skateboarding. You can get into gnarly skateboarding. You can get into transition skateboarding. You can like weird music. You can like weird editing. And you can, you can find what you're into online somewhere skateboarding has just become for everybody and that's the most incredible and magical thing you know what it's the person who's inside right <laughs> started Porsche Love at, uh, with a 912 and now I see today's cars and what's remarkable to me is I can see that DNA from the original cars very beautifully drawn light in line to today with all the modern amenities power speed etc but it still has that connection to architecture of the original car that I appreciate so coming home to that tonight was fantastic for me. When I first arrived in Southern Arizona well over 40 years ago, it seemed like the driest place I had ever been, the hottest place I'd ever been. I couldn't believe anything could actually grow here. I'm Yalos Wilder. I'm a chef here in Tucson, Arizona, home of the sun and home of foods that go back 5,000 years. This is a bounty like no other anywhere else in the world. And in this bounty, we can create world-class cuisine. Just 
the weekend before I'd been in Mexico, driving through deep sand and got stuck. That's what I needed. <laughs> this is one of my favorite drives, close to town. My name is Bill Fortenberry, uh, manager at Old Two Stone Western Town. We're the longest, oldest show in town, all professional actors and stuntmen. We're here in Tombstone, Arizona, the town too tough to die. I'm a Porsche fan myself, had several my entire life. Great driving cars, just a good experience, kind of cool. You know, two worlds meeting each other with uh, Porsche coming out here to uh, Tombstone, Arizona. Where should I put my gun? Howdy! Uh, it took me a few days, but I, yeah. you know, you you dress up like a cowboy, and all of a sudden you feel like one. It doesn't take that that long. Yeah.
G. Jansky Very Large Array. So this is a radio interferometer telescope. We are observing space objects, all kinds of different things. We can look at black holes, we can look at exoplanets, we can look at stars, uh, but we are looking within the radio spectrum of electromagnetic waves. 